What is going on everybody? My name is Raymond. Today we are going to unbox a mini educator. I get a lot of videos, people always ask me to work with the settings so um and you know show you guys how to do it so let's talk about the mini, mini educator it's my favorite brand it's the only brand i use it's got um half a mile range oh, yeah it's a half a mile range two year full warranty um it's got up to 100 settings goes up to one to 100 uh nighttime light if can float um waterproof shock resistant vibration it has tone uh, so yeah, this is the brand that I use and can also, one remote can work with two leash, two collars, which is, um, ideally it's actually pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I don't do it that way just because one, sometimes the dogs go separate homes, so there's no point in doing that. And what it does is, uh, it will take over the red stem, one of the dogs will take over the red stem and I have to use the red one for an emergency. So everything you can see, it's in the back the box so first thing I would say is one when you first get the box there's a code on the side right here is a code and uh, that code is your lifetime warranty or your full-time warranty and when you put that code in you know you can register your your the collar and you're good to go and you can just contact mini educator e-collar e-collar brand which is e-collar.com and uh, they will help you replace what needs to be replaced and um, give you options as far as like replacing batteries and face covers and other sensors and stuff like that. Uh, replacing the battery, it's actually pretty easy. Just unscrew the back. Maybe one day I'll do that. So let's open it up. So this is what it comes with. It comes with a remote. It comes with a regular remote. It comes with connectors and um, the screws to unscrew the prongs to switch the prongs. And it comes with longer prongs, which you can use for long-haired dogs like doodles and huskies um, and it has the tester which can help you test to see if the one of the connections are bad it's just you just touch the connectors together which we'll sh I'll show you how to use that later and as the, the metal screw here metal prior or a plastic prior basically what it does it helps you pry the shells off and you can replace these shells and you can um, customize them and uh, you have your name on it and stuff like that so yeah, this is what that does. So this thing right here is just a screwer. It's a, it's a hex, hex, you know, whatever, hex screwer. It helps you unscrew the prongs off the switch for the long one. <clears throat> so this is your collar. This is a charger. And then you got your lantus, which I like to replace it with my own, which I probably will do. Um, but yeah, that's basically what comes in the box, and of course, the instructions. I highly recommend going over the instructions. Most of what I'm gonna say is in the instructions. It also also has how to introduce the collar to your dog, has um, you know how to basically snug it, make sure it's snug, how to use the, the remotes and stuff like that. So we'll go over some of this stuff and it has other accessories, other accessory options. It has longer prongs here for really long haired dogs. Um, and you know other stuff like that so I highly recommend looking into the um, settings but we're gonna go over how to switch the settings to what I use this is for one of my clients so we're gonna use this so first let's talk about the charger a lot of people when I get I get these conversations or I get phone calls where the remote's not working when you stick the remote in the charger boom the remote will shut off right the remote it's currently off right now but it will shut off so if you plug it in while it's already on it will shut off same thing goes for the rope the collar the receiver so they're both attached which is what i love it's got dual ones and you can get if you have multiple collars you can get an extension on this which you can turn it into four all right so you can turn in, you're gonna have four four pieces on one on one plug and you can charge multiple multiple collars at once. I almost dropped it. So yeah, when you take them off, again, they're off. So you when you put on the dog, you're you're hitting the button, even though if you turn this on, this is not working because you need to do the following. Alright, so there's you see the red dots there guys? There's a red dot. Red dot, red dot, right? 
You put the red dots together. Boom. You see that green light? That means it's on. You gotta turn this on. To turn this on, you take the L, or uh, yeah, the big L, and you hold it for about wow, five seconds, maybe two seconds, and now it's on. You hear it vibrate. When you turn it on, when you get it, guys, they're both on, see the flashing green. So they're both on and they're also full. Again, take the red dot, take the red dot, just touch it, boom, there's a red, a red light that tells you it's off. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Green light on, red light off, right? So this is still on, this is off. See, nothing's happening, right? So when you get the, I think we're doing good with this. So when you get your um, your remote, you, when you turn it on, <clears throat> you are going to have the setting be at an M and a C, right? And what that means is I believe the M is monetary. Let's take the book out, make it a lot easier. It's monetary, and I don't know if, if, if it's C and M together, if, if both, I've never actually used it like that. So if they're both on the screen, that means that I believe um, basically when you hit monetary, when you hold it, it, it nicks the dog, like boop, 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 boop. Even if you're holding it, it's just gonna go like that. So um, with the stem, the C means continuous. And this, that means that, again, if I hold the button, it's going to stem and it's gonna keep stemming until I let it go, right? So again, M, monetary, so I hold it, and it's just gonna nick, it's just gonna tap the dog, boop, 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 over to whatever level you have it on, it's gonna boop, 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 it's just gonna be taps, no matter if you hold it. And if you have the C on, it's continuous. So I'm assuming that M and C are, one is, one is on continuous and one is on monetary, which the red one's probably on continuous and the black is on monetary. So what I do is with my with my dog training classes, uh, let's turn this on so you can see. It's a vibrate. So T here is the tone. And that means tone or the vibration. That's one button does the vibrate. And how you switch it to the beep, basically what you do is you hold you hold the L and you hold the T at the same time. See it? Now it's the tone. I believe the light, see the light's flashing? We'll get to that, we'll get to that soon. <laughs> you saw that, that was pretty cool, right? So if you hold the L for more than a few, um, for less than like a second, the light will turn on, but we'll get there. So um, it's on tone. So again, you hit the, press the L and you press the T at the exact same time. The switch is over, so watch. Now it's back on vibrate. So L, T, L, T. Um, I like to use the tone because the vibrate tends to startle some of the dogs, so um, it's up to you. Whatever your dog responds to, try it out. Um, I hope to... So, yeah, so L. L then T. L then T. So, we're going to leave it on the tone for now. So, the M and C are still on. How do you take the M and C still off? Well, there's a tiny little button on the back. That literally has an M and a C on it. All you gotta do is press and hold that for a little bit, and it switches over. Now it's an M, just an M. Again, hold it again. Now it's just a C. I like to leave it on the C, just because uh, sometimes the dogs don't feel the, the monetary. If you wanna put monetary on for like little dogs, that's fine. All right, so, so if you wanna leave, I like to leave the M on maybe a little dog, smart dog or a very sensitive dog just you know um, and I use the C on for I believe the C on for no matter what dog it is but um, I, I, you know I can probably use it for a small dog I, it's been rare since I put an e-collar on a small dog so yeah the T is at the tone right now so <clears throat> uh, a lot of this stuff on, on the collar can be replaced as far as the antenna I believe you can probably get a longer antenna just unscrew it if it breaks you just screw it back on so again, the M and the C, press and hold. Now the M and C is back on. So at first it was just the C, I turned it off. Again, I'm gonna hold it. Now it's just the M. All right, so we're gonna leave it on the C for now because it's gonna be on one of the dogs. 
So again, boom. So all I have to do is just hold that little tiny little button back there. So most people think that that button, little tiny button is what turns the e-collar on. It does not. It just turns, changes the settings. The L button, which says light on, on, off, is also applied to the remote and the light. So let's show the light. <clears throat> the light, it's on the collar. It's on this side where the blinking light is. It can drain your battery if you leave it on, but it's very helpful, especially at night, especially if you lose a dog or um, you're walking out in the streets. It's perfect. And with Halloween coming up, this would be a perfect tool. So you just hold the L for a second. Oop. Just a second. Maybe less than a second. It starts off flashing. And then you hold it again. And it's solid. So I don't want to mess the camera up. Again, it's off. So again, it will drain your batteries if you leave that on. <clears throat> So uh, only put it on at night or whenever you need it. Try to turn it off when the dog's in the house. Um, you got your charger. So right now we have the dial. Next is the dial. The dial right here, what, it changes what's on the screen. Right now the screen is at zero. So you see it go up, just like, a, like you're winding a watch or a stopwatch. It goes up and down. It goes up to 100, well it goes up to 99. It says high. It's not waving at you. It's high. It's at 100 right now. 100 is very... I actually never felt it on 100. I should probably try it. My sensation, my feeling would be between about 17, 20 for me. Um, most of the dogs are within that range on a low setting. High 100 or anything higher than that would probably be the worst case scenario. Dogs get into a dog fight or has something in his mouth he's not supposed to or even running away you can get them you know have them stop dead in their tracks right there um just use your best the best you can and of course speak to a professional before you use anything all right so <clears throat> next thing we got the beep we change the dial now the one thing about the dial is if i see right now it's on 26 if i press this down if i press the stopwatch down the dial down if I hold it it's not locked no matter what I do it's not going to move so you won't accidentally crank it up you won't accidentally but the problem with that is that in case of emergency you're gonna be spinning this and wondering it's why it's not working it's because it's locked so again you press and hold it down you press and hold down it's locked no matter what I do press and hold down did I do it? Yes, I did. So, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Use that to your best ability. It, again, it, in case of emergency, it could be bad. So be careful with that. I've had many times where dog, my clients are like, oh, dog got into a little tussle and I tried to stem them and it didn't work because it's stuck on eight and they thought it was at like, you know, 30 or 40. So how do you set the stem buttons? The black button the S on the black, it's what stims your dog on the screen. So it's gonna stim them at an eight, right? But the red one is preset to add more numbers, more volume to your number. So right now, uh, what's it on? Five, I think. So it adds five, right? How do you set that? Well, it's very easy. You take it all the way down to zero, but you have to make sure, I believe you have to make sure that the M is on. You can leave it on M and C, it's fine. And you press and hold the red button. Now the red button, again, it's, it's emergencies. But you can set it to another dog, so you have two dogs, one on this one and one on that one. It tends to be a bit confusing for me. So it's like, oh wait, who's what? And it's like you're stimming the wrong dog and we don't want that. So. And I don't even know if the tone works for both dogs, but um, definitely these two will work with two dogs, right? But the red one can be a kind of um, holy crap kind of situation, you know, so it can be set to a, for an emergency. So it's set to five right now. So what you do is <clears throat> you hold it, but you have to make sure it's on the M. You just hold it. Let's see, if I, I think you have to hold the black one. And what happens is the, the screen will start blinking. Maybe because the C is on. So again, yeah, so you have to have it <clears throat> just on the M. It should work. You just press hold down black, the black button. 
Of course, don't make sure this is not on the dog. See, now a one will pop up and it's blinking. That means that you're on, you're on it. So you crank it to, depending on the size of your dog, say between 10 and 20, maybe five, it's up to you. If I set it to 20, that means that it will add 20 to the screen instantly and then drop back down. So it's blinking now, you just press it, now it's solid. That means it's set. We gotta switch it back to the C. Great. <clears throat> so, if the E collar, if the remote is on zero and you hit the red button, nothing will happen. So you'll see the light will will change color if, if it's working. It's blink screen because it's on, but it will change red if to tell you it's active. So no matter what I hit besides the tone, nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna stem your dog. So we're gonna add, we're gonna go up to one and we're just gonna hit the red button. Let's see, add, see now it's at 21, you see? So it starts at one, I hit the red button, it jumps to 21. If you have a big dog, you have a big breed, that helps a lot. Um, it can save a life. It can save somebody's life, it can save an injury, you never know. So that's how you set the red button. Let's do it one more time. Let's take it down to 10. So again, button in the back that says M and C on it. <clears throat> You take the screen to the M. Those, it can't have continuous on it, it can't have C on it. It has to be all the way down to the M. You press and hold the black button. You just hold it until it starts blinking. And make sure it's at zero. So now it's at one. And we crank it back up. Let's say we do 10. And you just press it, boom. And then we switch it back. to I switch it back to C. You can switch it back to whatever setting you want. Just add one. Hit the red button. Boom. Now it's at 11. That is how you set the red button. All right. So we'll just leave that 10 for now. So, <clears throat> see anything else? It is waterproof. It can float. Again, if you put the charger on, on the remotes on the charger, everything will shut off. The remote can last, I would say, a good 24 or 32 hours, depending if the if you're not constantly using it, you know, all the time. Um, probably even more than that. There's times where I've had, especially if it's fresh out the box, it can last pretty long, fresh out the box. I don't think it's fully charged right now, so I wouldn't um, take that risk. But this this one is going to be used a lot, and I think it's because mainly because of the blinking. It's going to be so I'm going to shut it off. Um, the blinking basically, it's like um, it's just letting you know that the battery is full. So green is full, orange is about to die, red is close, is it's going to die. So keep an eye on that, guys. It's going to save your life. Save the dog's life. So again, if I put these both on the charger, they're both going to shut off. And I have to hit the red button, the, not hit it, but touch these two together like a magnet. Boop, turn it back on. All right. That's how I set it. That's how I use it for my dogs. Um, let's shut this off so we don't kill the battery. Um, you can have attachments to it. This one, this attachment right here allows you to put like a little belt, a belt hook to it. You can order that online. Amazon has tons of customary jobs, custom jobs. If you're a painter, hey, you know, just take this pop, pop this off and paint it yourself. I get label, label maker, so I don't get confused whose remote's who. Uh, we're changing the color. I highly also recommend getting the quick snap le re leash uh, collar for the dogs. Matter of fact, I'm going to go grab my dogs. All right, so this is my boys. This is Dockies. This is my dogs. He's a, uh, he's a, Beagle mix. So I used the long prongs on him, so I don't have to have this really tight. Um, he, he tends to fluctuate his diet. If anybody has beagles, <laughs> leave a comment. You know, you know how beagles are, so they're just constantly eating something. Um, but this is a quick snap. It's literally the greatest thing in the whole world because, as you can see, you have to constantly, you, see, you know what I mean. And your dog's wiggling around. Oh, dude, I'm having a problem. <laughs> Your dog's wiggling around and doing it. You gotta find the right right hole. You gotta make sure you can mark it if you want. I highly recommend cutting it to get what you want. But case of emergency or, you, or to say the dog's aggressive, you want something like this. Again, Amazon, it's like 20 bucks. Maybe I'll leave a link on the, on the, on the description. And I'll leave a link for this too as well. Um, these remote, can range from about 170, 160 to about 200, depending on where you go. Uh, Chewy tends to be pretty cheap. Amazon can be pretty expensive unless you have Prime. 
Um, and uh, unless you go to the actual source, which is ecaller.com, they might be, they might actually direct you to Amazon or direct you to Chewy, but they, their prices are kind of like in the middle. So <clears throat> the remote uh, instructions, again, explains everything that I just explained to you. Highly recommend it. Even says right here, if you hold the collar up, you get a longer range. If you have it down, the range is gonna decrease. So, you know, because it signals. So, and here's the monitor, the, this, how to read the display <clears throat> and how to do all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend this brand. It's the only brand I use. This teaches you how to set two dogs. Page 19, guys. Um, I use it. I love using it. We can actually use the tester. Let's turn this back on. I love this brand. I've used many brands. I've used Sport Dog. I've I've seen Dogtra. Dogtra tends to be um, the stem settings on, on. Not every e collar is treated the same. Sometimes a setting on one on here, on this brand, might be completely tiny, like low, like a bug bite. And a one on like dog show or sign, um, sport dog might be intense, a lot more intense. So I've noticed that. I've tried it again. I felt it before. I used. I feel this. I make sure my clients feel it before they put it on their dogs. It's kind of like annoying tickle. So we're gonna test it. Let's go say it as well. And you just hit the stem. See, so then you know it's good. So these are good. I thought this would light up. There you go. Yeah, see, it's lighting up. There's a the current. Um, e collars get a lot of bad rep, and the reality is, is that it can help a lot. It, it can make or break your, your your relationship if you're using it incorrectly. Yes, of course, you can definitely hurt the dog. You can hurt the dog using any collar, any leash. It's it's. I tell my clients that your leash and collar should not be. What's training your dog? It does help bridge the gap of communication. But you are what's training the dog. Your relationship is what keeps the dog listening to you. Um, here's the long, the long prongs. <clears throat> the long prongs. You just again, you just unscrew that, and you can get longer ones for extremely long hair dogs. Um, again, I like this brand. I love this brand. The warranty helps a lot. I've replaced batteries. I've replaced um, chargers. Chargers got messed up. Um, I've replaced remotes. They're they're pretty cool about that type of stuff, and you know, they're everywhere. A lot of trainers use this brand. So again, reminder: when you get this brand, there is a code on the side here. I don't want to show it because that's not. You know, if you guys take it from my clients, it's kind of messed up. Um, put that code in. You go to the website, you register it, put your email and all that, and. Um, Put the code in and then your, your stuff is registered so they're not going to give you a hard time as far as uh, where'd you get it and how who's going to pay for all that stuff so again but you i will highly recommend getting a quick snap quick release it's 25 bucks for one of these i got orange so people can see him coming um there's many different colors you can see i got some wear and tear on it so, gotta put the remote back the charger back um the chargers again you can get extensions to add more dogs so you're charging four or five collars at once on one charger rather than having two different chargers. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you are convinced with what type of e-collar you want to use. Again, I recommend this brand. And uh, thank you for watching.